Hello, everybody. This is Pun Frugal Streamer, and I wanted to talk about Voice Meter Potato. Yes, Voice Meter Potato. What a name, right? <laughs> anyway, the upgraded new version of Voice Meter has come out uh, in pre preliminary beta, and you can download it for free and give it a try. Uh, so, if you're already using Voice Meter Banana, um, this is easy to do. I'm going to show you here in a little bit how to download it, where to put it on your computer. But this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and switch over to the gaming PC. And we have Voice Meter Potato right here. And let me do something real quick while I'm thinking about it. All right, so here is Voice Meter Potato. So what is the difference between this and Voice Meter Banana? Well, other than, you know, obviously it's a lot bigger, okay, and it has more channels. Really not a lot. Uh, I mean, if you're uh, familiar with Voice Meter Banana, you're going to be able to hop right into Voice Meter Potato pretty easily. And you can even uh, configure your Voice Meter Banana uh, settings that you have saved. Open that file in Voice Meter Potato, and it will configure your V-Band. Okay? So all your inputs, everything, the way you have it set up, it will fill right in here. Now what you'll have to do is you'll have to go in and do your physical inputs and your virtual inputs manually. Okay, but they are there um, for you to do. So let's talk about it. So here we got the five now instead of three, five physical inputs, three virtual inputs, and the equivalent number of physical and virtual outputs. Okay, so the obvious difference that you can see when you compare this to Banana right off is now we have built-in effects, both special effects, which we have two plugins, and external effects. Now, only one of these is working right now, and that is the reverb. So if you click on the left click on the reverb, and then you right click on it, you can bring up the actual um, plugin itself and go in. And it has all kinds of presets for different versions of uh, reverbs like vocal, church, stadium, all this stuff. Uh, so you can also manually go and make your own. Um, it also has a built in EQ here. Um, as you can see, my microphone is feeding into this. Um, you can control the volume of it right here uh, in your channel on the pre-fade or on the post-fade. You can go and do it here. Okay, so you can change both of these right here. And it's pretty neat. Um, it works well. Um, it's you know definitely reverby. If I, as you can tell, I have it on now. Well, actually, I don't have it on. Let me turn it on on the streaming piece of you so you can actually hear what a reverb is. So this is now the reverb turned on uh, with a setting I'm using soft vocal when you can hear it change to different things. Um, this is, uh, let's see, where's the robot at? Is this one robot? It'll tell you. There you go, there's robot. Kind of sounds like a, you know, kind of robot-y sounding. So yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, they got all kinds of different presets and then you can manually go in and change all these yourself and do different, you know, sounds or whatever. Pretty neat. I like that a lot. And I can see definitely singers and stuff using that. Uh, other than that, though, really, there's not a lot of difference. Uh, uh, you have, like I said, all your normal stuff here. Like, you you know, you have your positioning, your modulation. You could do your uh, voice, you know, changing the EQ here by moving that up and down. Uh, you know, you have the EQing still here. In your uh, virtual inputs, uh, you have the EQs. Now, there is something different that they've added here in the master selection. Let me show you this. It's actually pretty cool. So, say you have a certain setting you want to use, I don't know, you know, different gains for different things. So, this might be more for people with, that do studio work, uh, podcasts, that sort of thing. Uh, where you have different levels that you like set for certain situations. Um you can go in and let's see, I want to save this right here, This the way I've done these physical in, and virtual in, inputs here. I can select that, okay? So now it is saved to this uh, bus setting. So now I can go and turn them off, and then if I want to bring it out on, there you go. It's already set. You just hit the button. Um, so if I want to uh, say I have another selection I've saved here, um, I can go and change them and then turn it off and then see now it's set to what I had. And then it'd say if, you know, later on, 
you you have that podcast you want to do where you hit this bus setting and then boom you've got that other setting so it's pretty neat and you have uh you know eight of these that you can use so it's pretty cool uh that's a new ad that they have done uh now the external effects is not working right now um likewise something weird uh, you cannot change the name of hardware input four or five yet, and VAIO three virtual input is not working, and you know, of course, B three also not working. So, uh, but everything else is functional. Um, v band works perfectly, uh, just like it always has. Uh, your tape recorder works the same as it always has. So yeah, I mean, if you are already using voice meter banana but you're needing a few more channels uh go try out voice meter potato it's free all right so let me show you where to download voice meter potato so here is vb audios this is actually his old kind of link uh, but it's the only one i could find to get to his forums now what i'll do is i'll actually give you the link for voice meter potato download in the in the description okay so don't worry about this uh, but if you wanted to go there to their forum and read about it, um, you go down to the bottom of their web page and click on the VB Audio forum link. Okay, and when you do that, go to Voice Meter and then look for the Voice Meter Potato Preliminary Beta Version. Okay, there's where you can get the download link, which you can download a zip file. Um, now, you have to have Voice Meter Banana 2.0.4.1 installed for this to work. Okay, so. If you have not updated your voice meter banana in a while and you're wanting to try potato, update voice meter banana to the latest version and then download voice meter 8. Now, he is saying to copy it in the uh, voice meter 2.0.4.1 folder and run it. Okay, well, let me say I have not done that. Okay, I, you know, did not follow his instructions. Okay, so what I did was I extracted the files and I actually made a, um, a voice meter potato folder so here's vb potato here's voice meter eight and i can you know run it what i've done is i've actually pinned it to my taskbar down below but anyway so i'm running it there um you could you could you could you know put it in here and go at it you know it wouldn't hurt if you were to extract it into uh the voice meter folder like he says um i didn't though and it's i haven't had any issues with it so but i guess you know if you have issues with doing the way i've done it revert back try the way he did it and and see if it works in either way so but yeah so i mean it's really that easy it's just it's simple um to get going uh remember uh when you first install this thing it's going to come and let me read let me set this up because i'll show you Okay, I've set all the uh, things back to default, and this is how it's going to come up first. Remember, this thing's flashing red for a reason. This is the first thing you have to do with voice meter is you have to set an output. Okay, and I always set mine to my uh, speakers on my sound card um, because then that's going to set your default, uh, you know, settings, which you can actually see right here. Okay, so this is this is all these numbers here are dependent on what you set as your input okay so you know and they'll be a different here if you're if i were to set mme the numbers would be a little different all right so but i set it for the uh, windows digital media anyway you got to do that first before you can go do anything else on here okay just uh, keep that in mind all right so yeah. uh make sure you click the link down below um if you want to try it yourself and it is free okay so you can get out there test it Give some feedback on the forums. Let Vincent know uh, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what ways you might be able to improve it. Okay, uh, I know for a fact a lot of people want it to be resized, and I'm, I agree. Um, I'd like to be able to resize it too. You can put it up on a, 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 a you know, vertical screen or, or a smaller screen for that matter. Because a lot of people that don't have, there's some people that use 720p screens still. Um, as crazy as that may sound, but yeah, yeah. But I love it, uh, and if you got any questions, please um, make sure you uh, let me know. Um, you can do that down in the comments. You can get me on Twitter at uh, frugal underscore streamer. Hit me on my Discord. If you got any questions about it, if you need any help setting it up, please let me know. Um, do if, now. Listen, here is the thing, and this is something I have uh, kind of been wary about letting people know. But 
if you want to get me one on one, okay, to help you set up your your uh, streaming PCs using Voice Meter, using OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. Um, I am available, um, especially coming toward the end of August, I will be a lot more available. Uh, but if you're having issues and you want your system set up for dual p streaming operations, you know, using this software, um, hit me up, let me know. Um, but I do charge and I'll let you know what the fees are, but I ask that you just donate to my fundraiser based on however long it takes for me to set it up. I just recently did a gentleman that had approached me from Germany uh, and I remoted into his computer, uh, both of them, and built his uh, full live stream and fixed it so that he could stream with 144 hertz uh, refresh rate on his monitors um, and still have a, you know, 1080p 60 feed from his sound or from, uh, from his capture card. So, um, and it took him yeah, about two, two and a half hours, so. Anyway, just give you a heads up. But I am doing that um, one on one, um, you know, as a paid service. Uh, but also, ask questions. I answer them for free. Okay, so uh, more than likely, you guys can get out there and set it up yourself. It's really not that difficult. But if there is a, you know, if you do hit a wall like this guy did, and he, you know, just throws your hands up in the air, yeah, I'm here. So let me know. All right, thanks, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hit the uh, like and subscribe, hit the notifications, and uh, we'll see you later with more videos.